Hey everybody, what's up? It's Glowing Cabbage here, back for another video, and uh, this one I'm going to be showcasing some records that I've picked up. And I just want to talk about a few things before I get into that, and uh, it's good to be back making videos. Uh, a lot of new people in the vinyl community, especially in the Facebook page, so welcome. If you're watching the videos, that's really how this all started. Um, and you know, I know you don't you don't have to make videos, but it's uh, definitely encouraged. It's just so we can see who you are and all that. It's uh, just all fun to, to participate. But of course, I mean, you know, everyone is welcome. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start this video off by well, just sharing a little bit of information. Um, and it's very it's very un vinyl related, but it's uh, very glowing. Well, not glow, but it's Jeff related. <laughs> it's related to my life, so I thought I'd share it. Um, I have a photo show coming up, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, yeah, so a gallery approached me and seen my photos before and uh, asked me to be involved with uh, a three-person uh, show here in St. John. So it's called Compilations, and basically it's just going to be my photos. See, I couldn't really afford to get each photo framed for like $100 each. Like, it's really expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a portfolio on, a, on like two portfolios on two little like long tables and then two photos, two big ones uh, uh, on the wall. So anyways, it's pretty exciting. It's uh, not my first photo show, but uh, my first in a long time anyways. Uh, so I just wanted to share that. I, I'll be sharing uh, photos and stuff. I'll do a little sort of slideshow montage. Uh, to show you guys, you know, I'm pretty happy. I got the old uh, Sequoia Flame uh, little boy shirt. I forget his name, sorry. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But uh, I dig vinyl, don't you? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so uh, so there's that. And um, also I wanted to bring people to people's attention that there's a really wonderful contest going on to a guy who has been here since, since I can remember, and I've been here a long time. And I know he's been here long before that because he had a, like a shitload of uh, videos. But it's Mr. Hall of Fame. He recently uh, arrived at his 2,500 subscribers, but he's having a 2,000 subscribers contest. Basically, show three a minimum of three records that remind you of him and his style of music over the time. Uh, shouldn't be hard because he he likes almost every genre. But he's highly respected in my in my mind, you know, in the vinyl community. Uh, so, Brendan, uh, congratulations, man! And uh, I'm gonna drink some tomato juice to you. I should have did that at the beginning of the video, like you do. <laughs> All right. So, I think that's it. Now on with the video of music, and records, and stuff. I've got a pretty good, pretty good stack of records here. So. Let me go through them, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So in the background, we're listening to the only album that I've ever purchased on Bandcamp, and um, I'm not sure if uh, David Sequoia Flame, I know he does a lot of Bandcamp purchases, which I highly encourage. It's so awesome, because you get it directly from the artist most times, and you really help them out. They press these records, and it's pretty cool stuff. Um, but this is a, a band called Verma. And Verma are based out of, uh, where is that? Um, boiler Room? Uh, it doesn't say. I know, I just can't remember. But uh, anyways, this is the cover. It's silk screened. Really wonderful, wonderful piece of art here. And then on the back is, uh, we're listening to Ragnarok right now. It's sort of a mix between Krautrock with the motoric beat, as you can hear in the background. Here, I'll turn it up just a bit so you can hear it, if I can find the remote. Uh, just a sec. Found it. Alright, so, listen to this. This is pretty cool. I, hopefully you don't, don't mind me doing a little bit of, of this. Good stuff.
So yeah, it's a cross between Krautrock and sort of that that shoegazy psychedelic feel like that Moon Unit has, and uh, or is that what they're called, Moon Unit? Anyway, they get a little heavy though. Like listen to that. I'll turn it down so you can hear me. But uh, this was really cheap. It was only like 15 bucks. Uh, check them out, Verma. Verma, and the album is called Exu. Really cool stuff. So that's what we'll be listening to in the background. Now, a quick shout out to a couple of people in the violent community that have sent me records a while back. Um, uh, Rob Yolivox um, in Illinois sent me um, amongst two other records, but this is, I've been listening to this like crazy lately. It's James Blood Almer's album, Freelancing. This guy is one of the most incredible guitar players I've ever heard in my life. He just goes into like improvisational territories that I've never heard on guitar before. And if you don't know James Blood Almer, check him out. I know Dave Sequoia Flame and of course the Olive Ox, you know about him. But I mean, wow, wow. What just an incredible album this is on, uh, what is this on? CBS. Just a uh, man. Uh, anyway, thanks so much, Rob. This is just so awesome. So I've been listening to that. Just and uh, this is a new, this is a recent vinyl find, but um, I've had it for a while. I just have, I just keep forgetting to show it. But uh, this is also a big giant shout out to um, Bostonian Reggie, Mike. Man, Mike, you you showcased this album a while back in one of your videos, and you said. You know, you're not a huge sort of free jazz uh, fan, but you said you could listen to brown rice anytime, anywhere, any place. And I understand why now after getting this. This came in at second spin a while back and I was just floored that it was there. And uh, I actually saw it. It was like, it was, well, it was 20 bucks and used. And, and, and it, but the vinyl's in great shape, but you can see a little bit of that. But uh, I was going to pass it up because just it didn't really have the money to, to spend on that. But um, I did pass it up and then I got home and I was like, shit, that's the same record that Mike showed. So I, I called them up and asked them to hold it for me. And then I went in and bought it like a few days later. But uh, Brown Rice by Don Cherry. Well, actually, it's not the name of the album. The name of the album is, uh, geez, I don't know. Maybe it is Brown Rice biography. Pretty neat intro or an intro to his life here like a little timeline sort of thing i haven't had a chance to actually dive in to read that but uh it's one of those i don't know what they're called oh yeah it's on horizon records so uh, don cherry brown rice really really awesome record one of the best don cherry records that i have actually it's just uh it's really funky and just a, it's funky, but with a lot of space, which is what I really like. It's just a lot of space to fill. Just an awesome record, really. Just an awesome record. Don Cherry. Another Don Cherry record that I picked up. Mike, I'm not sure if you have this one. I know Pro, uh, Prog and Jazzman, you have it. But it's uh, Don Cherry's Here and Now. This is a promo copy on Atlantic Records. This is killer, too. This goes more into like sort of a fusion feel for me, as far as like... Don Cherry's repertoire, um, but it's, it's fantastic nonetheless. It's just, uh, there he is on the back, uh, on the tri-colored Atlantic label. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been really digging Don Cherry lately, and whenever I see his stuff, I pick it up, so. And this is a, this is a score and a half, really. I, I think I paid, I paid 20 bucks for this, and I think it goes for a lot more on eBay, especially a, a promo copy, and it's in fantastic shape too, so, Don Cherry. Picked this up at a, sort of an antique store in town, but they, they rarely, rarely, rarely have records, but I'll go in every like three months or so just to see what they have. It's not very frequented by record uh, diggers, but, and usually they, they literally have like shitty shit, shit records, but this one they had for a dollar, so I picked it up, and this is, Fucking killer, man! This is so good. Wildest organ man in town, or wildest organ in town, Billy Preston. This is just, man. All mostly covers, like Hard Day's Night, Ain't Got No Time to Play, The Duck. Uh, he does a cover of I Feel You, I, I Feel Good by uh, James Brown. The In Crowd by Ramsey Lewis. I do believe Free Funk. There's the 
there's the set list there or whatever, the playlist. Really cool, really awesome record. Wonderful to find this. It's on the Green Capital record. Okay, on to some more records. I picked this up at uh, Second Spin a while back too. Uh, this came in and I was, I mean, uh, Joe, uh, Joe, Joe, I know you as Joe. Joe Sot, S-O-T-D, man. 79, I'm sorry, I can't remember your, but wonderful guy, has an amazing collection, has been getting some incredible jazz uh, records lately. Like I said, the Don Cherry and the, uh, man, and uh, what was it? Uh, not Albert Eiler, but uh, anyway, uh, Miles Davis, a bunch. Anyways, he had this, and there was a discussion going on on Facebook about uh, Herbie Hancock, and this came up as one of the ones that was a must have crossing, and I totally agree. This just fucking kills. This is so good. Reminds me of Electric Miles in the vein of like Bitches Brew and stuff like that. Very, very creative and um, improvisational. There's the full artwork, which is really neat to see actually. And on the inside is all the players in red light. Really cool stuff. A lot of amazing, amazing uh, musicians on this one. Um, man, I don't know. Just, I listen to this. I rarely do this, but I've been doing it lately, uh, and I'm really enjoying it. What I do is, I'll, if I listen to a record and I really love it, I'll listen to it again, and then again. I listen to it like three times in a row. I listen to this one three times in a row, and I'm really glad that I did, because it's just, it really, really soaks in about how amazing this particular record is, Man Crossings by Herbie Hancock. And it's on the, um, it's on the Warner Brothers label. Uh, a new release that I picked up, I thought, why not? I love this band and I haven't heard anything like recent by them at all in a long time. So uh, I picked this up and, and it's the deluxe edition that comes with the seven inch. It's Yola Tango's album Fade and it comes with like a foil rainbow sort of style uh, cover and back actually. So you can see that the, the the uh, song titles are all like sort of silver-fied, if that's a word. I don't know if it is. It is now. This is the uh, inner sleeve. This drawing, it says, uh, what does it say here? Recorded and we have some of stupid things. Design, photographs, drawing by Roscoe Finkel, third place winner in September 2012, Draw Yola Tango Contest. <laughs> So we mu they must have a contest for kids to draw Yola Tango. They've, they've got a long story tradition of being very experimental with the idea of being in a band, you know, like they do the WFMU uh, call-in cover. People call in basically during their fundraiser and they'll do covers and stuff. Uh, just a really wonderful and creative and talented band. There's the thing. Here's the seven inch that comes with it. Pretty nondescript, just a seven inch with a couple of different songs on it. Uh, so, and, and as far as the music, wonderful. Almost like, well the first tune in, in general, uh, I'll Be Around, like, just comes in kind of slow and then it just sort of gets this almost like mid-tempo uh, kraut rock sort of feel to it with really, really lush and uh, uh, noisy but lush guitars in the background which mostly hushed vocals on this actually Derek you uh, you shouted out um, uh, the uh, the internet's busiest music nerd and uh, I, I have to say that he has done a really wonderful wonderful um, re uh, review of this album just recently and it, it, it's he summed it up to a T. <laughs> and uh, uh, what's the, what's the name? Uh, Anthony Fantano, <laughs> music's busiest nerd. Anyways, uh, I watch his videos every once in a while when there's albums that I'm interested in. And uh, Foster, come here, come here, come say hi. Foster, say hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Okay. Lay down. Anyway, wonderful album. If you like Yola Tango, it's you've heard music like this by them before, like in the same sort of style with the hushed vocals. There's not too many uh, 
There's not too many transitions in that album. It doesn't go like crazy rocker and then like a crazy hush tune. It's it's mostly just, but it's wonderful. It's it's really 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 excellent album. Okay, can't recommend that one enough. Um, another VC LT person that I need to to thank, Steve Judge. He sent me this, Kono no number seven, Congo Tronics. Wow. I mean, I've had this on MP3, but to hear it on vinyl, uh, this is another one that I've listened to like three or four times in a row, you know, just kind of soaking in. Uh, hopefully I'm not too far into this, this 15 minutes. Okay, I got about seven more records. I'll try to go a little quicker, I'm sorry. Um, a Donald Byrd record that I picked up called Ethiopian Nights. Just killer. Um, I, don't, I didn't really know much about uh, Donald Byrd. But this is just killer. The the very first tune on this, on side one, called The Emperor, which is 15 minutes long, is, man, it's, this is on uh, Blue Note. It's a reissue, but it sounds amazing. Like, actually anything Blue Note usually sounds amazing. Except for the direct metal tapes, I masters, because I think I've learned that from, from Dr. Deadback. See, I do pay attention, Mark. I hope you're doing well, Mark. I haven't talked to you in a while. But I imagine we've both been busy and, you know, Skype, we never, we, we're just like two ships in the night on Skype, just going like this, never catching one another. All right, this is a record that I picked up recently too, another jazz grail in ways, although I haven't listened to it yet. I haven't had a chance. But I will. I will very soon. It's my first record by this guy in, the, in my jazz collection, which I'm just happy as shit about. This is Lester Bowie's All the Magic promo copy, double record set. Um, and here's the inside. The one, the only. It is on ECM Records. I can't wait to listen to this. I just haven't had a chance to yet, but Lester Bowie, can't go wrong. All right, and these ones I just picked up really, really nearly yesterday. There was a bunch of records that came in and I just kind of went through them. And uh, they looked, some of them looked okay. What really got me was the price. They were really cheap. For example, this one was 99 cents. How could you not pick this up? Bread and Puppet, The Dream of the Dirty Woman. And look at that black and white picture on the cover. You're like, what the hell is going on? We'll do a little research on these guys. And they're a Vermont-based um, experimental theater troupe, basically. And they were all about doing theater in unconventional places, as in, as in this one, in the uh, woods. And so there's more pictures of their performance on the back. This is mostly sort of... Um, folk music, but really old, from the 14th century folk music. You can see the musicians here. So one whole song, and this is on, this is completely private press. And you can see, like, for 99 cents, I'm not gonna pass that up. I mean, you can't get records for 99 cents very often. So, anyway, I'll show you the label, because it's just two songs. There's this one here, which is, which is called Music While the Audience Gathers in the Woods. And then on the other side is the name of the actual play, which also is mostly music. The Dream of the Dirty Woman. No label. Private press. I haven't looked this up on eBay. I imagine some people are probably really seeking this record out. Not that I'm going to get rid of it. I actually quite enjoyed it. I actually just did needle drop on it, to be honest, but it sounded amazing. It sounded really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I mean... I bet you no one else in the vinyl community has this. <laughs> or maybe you do, I don't know. I'm going to flip the record. Good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So anyway, yeah. Bread and Puppet, The Dream of the Dirty Woman. Interesting stuff. It's nice in the folk collection. Um, okay, so... This I took a chance on. Again, it was 75 cents. This is mint, like, well, I shouldn't say mint, but it's in, like, super clear uh, vinyl. It's um, Bill Evans, uh, special guest John McLaughlin on this. It's called The Alternative Man. And what made me really pick it up, it was on Blue Note. It is on the Blue Note, uh, what is it, the finest jazz since 1939. Um, 
It's 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 circa what, 1985. So you can imagine what sort of you know if it's called the Alternative Man, and you know it's on Blue Note at that time. It has a real this. It has a real dated sound to it, like with the synthesizers and stuff like that, and a little bit of slap bass. But it, but what's amazing about this album is that it just, it just teeters on the verge of being cheesy. It doesn't quite get there. It's actually quite a good album. And uh, so, it's on this Blue Note. Uh, for 75 cents, I had to take a chance. And uh, it, it's actually, I actually enjoy it. It's, uh, it's interesting. There's a lot going on in this photo and the insert, like there's a lot of stuff he's surrounded in. But uh, here are the people that play on it, you know, Marcus Miller on bass. I don't really recognize a lot of people on there, but... Uh, so anyway, uh, pick that up for 75 cents, and this one was 50 cents. I have another album by this particular artist, his name is Andreas Volvin Volvinder. Uh, 50 cents down to the moon. He's a harp player, I guess. Uh, the other one I have has to do with caves. I forget now the name of it, but uh, this is interesting, though. I haven't listened to it yet. Oh wait, there's the one I have right there. That one, that one there. So now I have another one by him. It's on the what else? The FM label? CBS, CBS, FM. And the last two records, I'll just do these really quick. This was 4.99. It's in okay shape. It's uh, it's it's got a few like surface scratches that are kind of iffy. I haven't played it yet, but uh, it's the in incredible string band for four ninety nine. I've been getting my folk on lately, so I thought I'd uh, check this out. Um, it's on the harvest. Every time I see this, it reminds me of Neil Young. Every time I see that that Mississippi, Mississippi steamboat. Reminds me of uh, Neil Young. So one side is pretty clean, and the other one has some, yeah, some surface scratches, I guess you would say. And the other one I got was Hard Rope and Silk and Twine by the Incredible String Band. The record itself is in great shape, but there is a little bit of like sort of water damage or seam split. So that was only uh, 99 cents. 99 cents, can't go wrong. So there you go, guys. I'm sorry if I kept you too long. I just wanted to check in, make a video. Uh, things have been progressing along wonderfully. We're less than two months away from our little boy being born. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, just been busy doing this and that, you know. Um, have some uh, artwork in Glass Orchid Aftermath's uh, next edition of his zine. I've also uh, put some reviews in for Gus, who's doing a zine. Uh, so, man, just, just uh, a lot of shit going on, you know. Just, photo show and I got the radio show this evening so if you want to listen please do Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 Atlantic time the show is called the vinyl underground okay I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna get out of here thanks for watching talk to you later